Hello guys, welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. In this tutorial, we have some exciting tutorial which is about realistic living room rendering modern design. So I'm going to show you how we can work with sunlight for brightening interior design and interior lighting in Enscape 3.5.6 for SketchUp. Let's get to work. First of all, I'm going to click on this option, which name is view management in here. I'm going to select interior file in here. The note is that you can download this file below this video and train step by step by this tutorial from a SketchUp Arc Studio. So I'm going to click on the safe frame in here and now safe frame activated for me. It helps me to manage my project much better than the other times. So I'm going to press F. I'm going to click on the create view and I can create some new view if I need. But right now I have one view in here, which is interior. So I'm going to click on the edit mode and I want to relight it again. So click on the view visual setting in here and change it to the white mode in this case. White mode helps you to manage your lights much better in the complicated scenes. So I'm going to start with the altitude next to the azimuth in here. So if I play with the altitude, I can make this light much better than the other times. For example, some type of sun rays like that can be really good and angle of the sun can be really important. I want to make the center point of this room much brighter than the other points. So I need to type 273 degree for my azimuth and altitude is about 31. So I'm going to press save and interior number one selected for me. So I'm going to come back to the visual setting and change it to the none mode again. And now I have this lighting too. So white mode helps you to generate exact lights which you want for your project. Next step for the rendering related to the visual setting and camera setting. So I'm going to reduce the field of view as I can to some type of number like this, for example. And I think 66 degrees enough. As a matter of fact, you can see what really happened and we have some dark areas in our environment. So it's not really good. I'm going to go to the atmosphere reduce the sun brightness to see what really happened and you can see it gets more darker so don't try to use this technique for lighting your area try to manage your sun about 94 i increase some power and then come back to the main bar and right now i want to increase exposure as i can for example something like this maybe 72 is not bad i can minimize it to see what really happened and it's completely realistic so I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting another time and now after I managed my exposure power and parameter I can increase depth of field, turn off the autofocus and play with the focal points and focusing on some areas like that for example or the uh, back wall it completely depends on you I prefer to focus on this place so 4.94 is my Focusing distance and depth of field is about 11% increase rendering quality to the ultra mode Outline is not really useful. I'm going to turn it off click on the image bar use auto contrast If I increase saturation, it means that I increase contrast in another way. So 104% is enough, but color temperature need to be optimized as you can see we have some warm render and it's completely cool for this type of rendering but if I reduce the color temperature in here, it will get more warmer. So try to manage it on some realistic number. For example, 5600 Kelvin is enough. Motion blur not really useful, but lens flare and bloom is really important. In this scene in here, if I increase bloom option, look at the table area in here. It will completely fade it out and it's related to the light calculation. So if I increase lens flare, we will have some other type of colors in our 3D design. And you can see what truly really happen in your 3D visualizing. So I try to manage the uh, bloom about 6% and lens flare is about 21%. Everything is fine and cool for now. I'm going to reduce the uh, Vignate and Chromatic origin 0. Atmosphere not really useful. About the night sky brightness, we can touch it or don't touch it it's completely related to you but right now in the daylight rendering it's not really effective shadow sharpness related to the shadows how much they can be sharp in your environment if i increase it to the 100 
it will completely unrealistic. Sorry, it's artificial light brightness, shadow sharpness, something like that will happen. So I try to use soft shadows. Only 1% can be enough in Enscape lighting system. So artificial light brightness related to the spotlights, it's not really workable and important. Ambient brightness is about 79%. Wind is about zero. In the skybox, we have white ground. I can add white cubes to see the effects of them. But right now we can't see the outside. It's completely normal and everything is done here in the output i want to change it to the ultra hd rendering and i think everything is fine but for now i have some problem with the uh objects i think so i'm going to click on the uh enscape asset library in here so i want to click on the uh lighting and i want to add some new objects for this project for example this place is really empty so I don't feel so good about it. I'm going to click on the uh, one of these lights, which is matched with my environment. For example, floor lamp number seven. I'm going to click on it, add it, apply changes and add it to this place like that. Click on it, rotate and something like that will happen. Now it's much better. So. For other places, you can press F, come back to your main render shot and see what is really not suitable for this render. I think everything is fine. I can click on the uh, asset library again, this time on the uh, accessories. And this time I can check out the tags on the toy in here. So in the toy option, I can add some small objects near to my camera. It only helps you to increase the detail of your render. For example, something like this, another type of octopus like that in here, and another toy in this place. For example, this type of papers can be really increase the detail of your project. And this one in here. Maybe it's a little too for it, so I'm going to click on the apply changes. It takes a bit time and everything is fine. So I will minimize Enscape in here, Enscape in here, and click on the Enscape Material Editor in this place. Click on the wood number one in here. And I want to see what really happen if I decrease image fade in this place. All right, you can see your floor gets more brighter. And I like this one. I think it can be really attractive. So try to reduce image fade about 41%. Intensity is about 124 and you can see the displacement maps and normal maps changes. I can increase it to the 167 to make my texture and wood more realistic. Roughness is 4.5. I can create some matte reflection. So for this case, I can increase roughness smoothly. Something like that will happen. I normalize my textures like that. Metallica is about 1, Spectra is about 71, and everything is done. So, I'm going to click on the uh, construct number 4 in here. It's related to this main wall in here. I can click on the color of it and make it more darker. Something like that will happen. It's not bad, but try to manage it. For example, this one need to be get near to the white or something like that. And this one, something like this. You need to calibrate it by your own self. You can click on the albedo, rotate the texture to create new type of texture changes. Increase the size of it. And in the Metallica, I think it can be zero. Roughness is about 29.6. And now it's much better. So I'm going to close it and time for the rendering. So uh, I'm going to press F interior another time will be selected for me and time for the rendering. I'm going to click on the usual setting. Everything is fine. I'm going to check the setting for the last time. I can change the focal point to the 4.8T. Something like that will happen. In the image bar, I can reduce lens flare to the 4 and increase the bloom to the 16. Some type of graphical changes will happen in here. 
and time for the rendering. Click on the screenshot for the last item, desktop, and press save. As you can see, Enscape is one of the most powerful and fast rendering engines which help you to make incredible 3D visualizings. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Train this type of topics more and more. You can download the file of it. So only training can increase your skills and abilities in rendering and any type of work that you do in your life. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.